Hey friends! In this video, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Neocolor 2 Wax Pastels. I've just released a new painting course. It's called Garden Blooms. And in the class, we paint flowers with acrylics. And we also bring in wax pastels to layer and to add more texture and interest to our paintings. And I just wanted to share some of my favorite colors and a few introductory techniques that you can try out with them. So let's head over to my desk and we'll try them out. The wax pastels I use are by Caron Dash, and I use their 40 color set here of their Neo Color 2 pastels. So they have a Neo Color 1 and a Neo Color 2 line. Neo Color 2 pastels are actually water soluble, which means you can color them dry onto the page, but then if you paint them with a wet brush, they're going to turn into a watercolor like. Um, wash, which is really lovely. I love using the wet and the dry together in paintings. So I'll share some of my favorite colors and a few introductory techniques that you could try out. So I have a page of mixed media paper here and I really enjoy using this paper with my acrylics because it's a little bit heavier than um, some regular sketchbook papers, but it also has a smooth surface. And I've just primed it with some acrylic paint and it's dry and I've painted a couple different value shapes on it so that you can see what these look like. So let's see, one of my favorite things about using wax pastels is that I can color a light on dark and get this really lovely effect. So this value, this is kind of a medium value background, but then you can see as I use a lighter color wax pastel, it stands out really beautifully. We can do that also with like a more warm color. And so you can really just intuitively add colors to your painting anywhere in your painting. You can do it on, on shapes, on backgrounds, and really just start accenting things um, and without even having to think about like mixing a color on your palette. You just grab the color out of your color box and you start adding it. You can also get some real dramatic effects using dark. So I'll add dark to this lower shape here. You can get some really beautiful thick coverage. These are very soft and sort of buttery. And so I love the feeling of them on the paper. So let's try there's another color. This is one of my favorite dark colors. It's called Malachite Green. We can try layering a couple different colors. This is another favorite of mine. This is called Jade Green. You can try that. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on this background. So it's kind of a similar green to this background, like a similar value, although it's a little bit of a cooler green. And let's try, let's try a pink. This will be interesting. So this dark pink. And I'm also going to blend a couple things together and just see what happens. Mm, let's see, let's try, let's try an orange. I can also color it out onto the background a little bit. Okay, so there's some fun things that you can do. You can um, color on top of already painted in shapes. You can color over your background. You can layer different colors together. Let's go ahead and add some white. Ooh, that's interesting. On top of that orange. And let's just paint these out and see what happens. Okay, so I'm just lightly wetting my brush and we're just gonna start activating these colors. Let's see what these look like on top of white. So you can start getting a real watercolory sort of a look there. Ooh, and they just start sweeping around and moving with your brush. 
Another thing I think is fun here, I'll come down to this one, is once you get some of the paint or the pastel on your brush, you can move your brush over to a different area and you can continue to use that color. Let's paint this out and see what happens. Pink on top of green, I'm anticipating turning kind of brown, which uh, was not wrong. Let's try painting out the light on top of the dark first and see what happens there. One of my favorite things about using wax pastels is actually just leaving them dry. Um, I like the, uh, the option of painting them and getting them to turn into a wash, but I actually really love this dry scribbly effect. And I enjoy how you can kind of mix two colors together and they're not mixing like wet into wet. So the pigments aren't really blending, but you can visually mix them. So you have them on the paper and you're kind of seeing one color through another. And I really like that interplay of colors. You can go back on and color them on an area that's already wet. This is salmon. This is another one of my favorite colors. Okay, let's try painting out what's down here, this sort of orange and white combo. Oh, that turned kind of like a neon. I'm gonna try painting this blue out just a bit more. Isn't that interesting. All right, let's pick one more color. What color did I really enjoy? I really like this pinkish purple, so it's called mauve. Where do I wanna put this? Maybe we'll put it on the dark. And we can just leave that be. Like, isn't that gorgeous how it just really stands out against that dark blue? But then we can also try coloring it here and maybe I'll mix in what would look lovely with this. Let's try mixing in, ooh, some red. Just a little bit and let's see what happens. On top of green, I feel like this is also gonna maybe turn brown a little bit, but let's see. If we, if we paint it really gently, the two colors are kind of having coverage. Ooh, look at that. And then you're not seeing as much of the green until the pigment gets thinner there. You can try washing it out a bit. This is another color that's really fun, lemon yellow. It's kind of on the on the more like neon light side of yellow. Let's see what happens with this. We'll just be wild with it. Okay, now I wanna share with you just a few of my very favorite colors from the 40 color set. And I'm gonna show them to you on white paper because they will show up better and you'll be able to see their true color. And then we'll go ahead and paint them out. So like I mentioned before, this is called Malachite Green. We'll just start with the greens and the blues. It is a beautiful, deep blue green. And it's just lovely, Malachite Green. Another one I absolutely love is Jade Green. 
I joke in the class that this is my all-time favorite and I use it in every painting almost. <laughs> um, another one that I loved was Light Olive. Okay, so I'd say these are my three favorite greens. Let's try out a favorite. Okay, so Salmon is probably my favorite in the pink family. And let's pick two blues. So this blue I love, this is called turquoise blue. And then actually this color, which is this Prussian blue. I use this in um, one of the paintings in the class and just fall in love with it. This is one of my favorite blues. Okay, so let's paint them out. You can see as it goes over the white paper, it really gains intensity and it's just gorgeous. And I'll try to kind of pull it out so you can see it thinner and thinner there. Ooh, love malachite green. All right, here's jade green. Here's light olive. Ooh, and I love how it just gets really yellow as you paint it out. Yellowy greens are some of my very favorite ones. I think chartreuse may be one of my very favorite colors to use in paintings. I'm always using chartreuse in my leaves and stuff. And so that hits the spot for me. Salmon pink, of course, is just a beautiful peachy pink color. This one is called light turquoise, but I just think of it as a sky blue, like a gorgeous. I live in San Diego, so this is like a San Diego sky blue. <laughs> just a bit of a green side to that blue. And then this is our amazing indigo color. Ooh, I love how rich it is. And there you have it. These are a few of my very favorite color um, wax pastels. I hope this has whetted your appetite for trying them out and exploring and just playing and having fun with them. If you are interested in seeing how I incorporate these with my acrylic paintings of flowers and you would like to learn about that more, you can check out my Garden Blooms class. It's just a lovely beginner friendly step-by-step um, -step approach to painting some beautiful beloved garden flowers and having fun with acrylics and wax pastels. All right, happy painting and bye for now.